some really birds. Oop. Now I got you. Getting some early birds. Wow. Get some early birds in here to see this. Okay. Uh, Good. Now I think you can hear me. I don't hear me. Uh oh, yeah, I'll try that. Hey, Ron. Yes, sir. Nope, that didn't work. Ron? <laughs> All right, why? Well, you're messing with me. I wouldn't do that. Uh, I trust that you would. <laughs> How y'all this evening? Doing great. Doing good. Looks like a good turnout tonight so far. Got a lot of things to chat about tonight. Hmm? We're going all going to the backyard. Excuse me, backyard? Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you're just joining us, turn your mic. I don't want to mute everybody's mics right now, but if you got a little background noise, do it yourself. It looks like Brenda's with us and she wants to miss one. And put your name in the where it says change name, you can change your name. Uh, so I don't have to kind of figure out what that code is that's on there. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing? All right. Hey, hi, everyone. Hey, hey uh, this is WH from uh, Frankfort, Kentucky. Do you have a copy? WH, I believe I do. I'm looking to see. Uh, I think I met you already. All right. Well, I don't have video up, so it probably isn't kicking over to that. I just wanted to make sure the mic was working. I see you working. Um, I don't. I don't see if anything I can change on it from here. The beer's with us. <laughs> There it is. Looking for the right buttons. Yeah, I've been practicing this every single day this week. And the the heck of the thing is you gotta go on you gotta go and create a meeting in order to practice. So if y'all keep coming on and see me up there. I'm practicing. Join me if you wish. I see you got your 34 old. Say again, Ronnie. Billy Billy was holding up his bottle of 3408, and I noticed it, so I was just hollering back at him. <laughs> I used I used some of the uh, I used some of both of them today. I got I got some of the thin and some of the medium. Good. That means you've been turning. Has everybody been turning? Come on. Ruin my day. Tell me. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 according to the news, the pandemic is over. <laughs> Believe that. Hey, my I, spent wife weekend, I spent the long weekend building a stand for my lathe, finally. Would you build the steel or wood? Wood. Okay. My wife says she loves a quilt behind you there. Oh, okay. Well, that that's part of management's work, and we had to move things around. Um, next week, I got to move my table because of right now the air conditioner is right there. If I turn <laughs> it on, I freeze. So. <laughs> When I get a cable to go around the room, I'm going to put it over here. But the same cable, same cable is going to let me take this to the shop next month. But it doesn't play music. Do you know uh, what pattern that quilt is? No, but I can ask management. I would like that. Tell management I love it. Thank you. I'll hold on. I'll get there. Hi, from Michigan. Hi, 
I I'm here from you. I'm here from Michigan. And welcome. Eddie just stepped away for a second. Uh, go, hi, hi from uh, hi from Louisiana. Glad to have you, Michigan. Yes, I would now want to ask you. You keep on saying something about that CA. Where do you get that? Okay, there's a gentleman that lives in, uh, let's see, what part of uh, Georgia? Uh, Tucker. What is it? Yeah, Tucker, Georgia. Yeah, that's right, Tucker, Georgia. It, his name is Mark Soleil. And if you go online and go to marksoleil.com, it will uh, bring up his website. If you want his phone number, I can give you that right now. Oh, I, I can go on the online. Okay. Uh, speak to Mark, and, and Mark will point you in the right direction. You, that 3408 with the correct activator, and you'll be uh, you'll be on your way. Okay, thank you. Hey, Ronnie, I got back. Um, we'll talk about it a little bit later on, but we're going to be adding Mark Soleil and Frank, I think it's Frank Bowers, to our program real soon. They're producing some pieces for us, and then we'll do some conversations with them. And it's not commercial. It's great turners teaching you great turning. And the lady that asked about the quilt, my wife says that's not a real good pattern. Uh, that whoever she got it from was throwing it away. So she brought it home and put it together, and that's what we ended up with. Wow. I like it. I love it. It's yeah. gorgeous. With smooth walls in this room, it helps control the sound a little bit. So <laughs> and she's right now, her chair is close to the TV, and she's always, ah, because I'm over here where it deadens out. So oh, I'm going to go to Edwin. You're quite welcome. Okay, bring it. I see Johnny Youth. Johnny Youth popping in right here. Um, Roger Carter, welcome, Roger. Um, wait, he is not. Roger's up. Um, got a lot of folks asking about this, which is really nice. Really nice. And I just found out I have a mouse, and I've been overlooking. So who's turning what? How's it coming out? What about you, Pat? What you spinning? Pat. I'm here. I'm here. What are you hey, spinning? I finished the uh, walnut platter. <clears throat> I like that good finish on it. Yeah. yeah, I did the, uh, I just did the oil. I need to buff it some more. I did the walnut oil finish. Uh, it turned out real nice. I'm giving it to my dad as an appetizer tray for Father's Day. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Remember, we're not supposed to sell it. We're supposed to give it away. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Pat. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, and if I, well, who's spending wine right now? Come on, it's not gallery time, but you know we got a little while to go. I don't know if you can see it. I got a piece of uh, box elder back here on the lay it down. That I've been working on this, this afternoon. So. John, it's Johnny Hughes. Um, I'm trying to get there, Johnny. Put a spotlight on you. Well, you know, Johnny is going to come out all stained up. You know, it's not going to be nice. You want to send it over to me and. Yeah, you go. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little piece of box elder I've had for a couple of years, but I decided to go ahead and turn it down. So I had uh, getting a little bit of tear out there. It's a little punky on the end, so I had to stiffen it up a little bit before I could finish turning. What'd you do to stiffen it up? Well, I, I use some of that Minwax wood hardener on there. I'm gonna try to see how it does. All righty. And what are you going to do to preserve that color? Because UVs are going to eat that thing up. I don't know. I've, well, it's going to be inside, so it's going to be uh, – I've had pretty good luck with it before. 
on the box elder, just using lacquer on top of them. And, uh, Is that a bark inclusion you have on the side there when you rolled it over? Yeah, that's it. I just Be left it accent. there. Be a good accent. All right, we're looking to get those kinds of tips and hints, gentlemen, ladies. Um, you're doing something kind of unique in the shop. Uh, you've got a secret way. Hey, there's no secrets here. Um, just let us know what you what you got and what you're doing. I'm rolling over to see if we got any new folks visiting with us. We have the chat is live right now. And Gerald Jensen says, good evening to everybody. And remember, you can use that chat feature anytime you want. And you can chat everybody, or you can pick out individuals no, no problem. and chat, and chat do them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute out a couple of folks here. Um, I'm going to work on how to do that here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, because everybody coming and getting set up, it gets a little noisy. Uh, if you want to say something, do you, you know you got to press the space bar, and then we'll, we'll we'll hear you, and you'll pop up on my screen over here, and then we can approach some things. But now, all right. Not only can you read the chats, but you can save the chats. On the bottom of your chat program, there's three dots, and this whole thing, three dots, is a secret. Uh, those three dots down below them, it'll ask you if you'd like to save the chats. But if you do it now, you've only saved what we just now said. If you do it at the end of the program, you'll get all the chats saved, which is what we're looking to do. We're up at 31 people right now. Um, I, I took off the thing that makes them wait and all that, so everybody's back with us. Um, I have Ronnie unmuted. Uh, maybe I don't. Yeah, Eddie. Okay, good. Yeah, the dot just took a minute to come up. Okay, we, you know, tonight we were planning what we're going to do this week, and last week Doug Rowe uh, was doing a piece, and it's going to be some epoxy, and Doug says, well, he'll do some photographs and talk about it. Well, Uncle Sugar called him in for service today. Or, or yesterday, and he had to travel halfway across the state and teach a lesson, and he's coming back tonight. Doug might be with us, um, and he comes in. I'll make him another co-host and let him get into the program. I don't see him up yet. i got to roll through all these folks. You know, at some point, I can't see everybody. It's Robert P Pacini just yeah. checked in. How you doing, Ed? Can you hear me? All right, sir. Yes, sir, I got you. I'd like to sort of offer everyone a little uh, public service announcement, if you will. Okay. Uh, I've, been I've been turning wood for about 20 years. Uh, in the midst of this uh, COVID-19 problem, I had been using my uh, N95 respirators and simply ran out and had no more availability. Uh, subsequent to that, I continued to turn without protective equipment and now have been di diagnosed with what they're calling, <clears throat> excuse me, um, asthma related to um, environmental problems. Um, I, really? just wanted, I just wanted everybody to know, please, please, please use your protective equipment um, and if you don't have the protective equipment, don't turn. I have not been able to turn for the last seven weeks because my oxygen levels are so low, I do not feel comfortable using power equipment. And that's just, just my, my PSA, if you will. Well, thank you. We got to remind folks, being safe is an important part of this. And I keep, I'm, I've ended all my phone calls with people for the last week and 10 days with a, with a sign that says, we're going to be safe. Um, and because it's really, oh, wait, I got a little technical glitch here. I'm trying to fix it. All right, now I'm back. Um, 
being safe is overall important because we want to keep going. And uh, I, I had, I've got a friend of mine that has got serious cancer problems, and he he resorted for the last couple of weeks into wearing his. Oh man, that the the name it's a Trend Air Shield. Uh, he's carrying this Trend Air Shield around with him everywhere, putting a, putting the air on and, and wearing it. And he said he gets some strange looks, but he knows he's breathing cleaner air. And for him, it's real important because he gets to stay up above the dirt instead of below the dirt. So the Trend Air Shield is one. And if y'all play around with uh, YouTube, um, just type in Air Shield or Air uh, Dust Mask, and you will be bombarded. If you don't get 50 a day, you're not in there. It's uh, everybody's got a shield, everybody's got an idea, and everybody's got a way. So, uh, also, I, think, I, got, I got an idea that I've been I've been doing for a while. Is uh, I, I wear a mask, but I also have a box fan with a uh, conditioner filter uh, taped to it, and I face that directly away from me as I'm turning. So anything that doesn't get caught up gets sucked away from me. You know, I, 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 have, I was real good friends with Gorse Duplessis, who was an ornamental turner down. He lived on the edge of the French Quarter downtown. And he had what he called the dust avoidance system. It was a little six-inch fan he bought at Walmart for like $8. And he had it directly over his head blowing straight down. And he said, if the, if the dust can get, get past that, I'm okay with it. His, that was his dust avoidance system. Now, considering he has a lake there worth almost $100,000, I got to admire the man for using a $6 fan to keep the dust away. Because, uh, and what he was working with, the dust collection system really would have been a problem. So, who else is out there? Press that button to talk. Come on. 647. We've got a few minutes to go. I got to get another clock. Oh, if you'd like to record the program, this program, um, and I've heard a lot about this from other folks, don't let them record it because of the liability on it. We don't have any liability. Um, if you want to record it, just so I give it to you, because i got to do it one at a time, send me an email to the club ad, uh, email address, worldwidewoodturners at gmail.com, and tell me you'd like to record it. And then I can put your name on a list. And next week, when you come on, you'll be one of the folks invited, and you'll be able to record it, just like you can record the chats at the end of the program. Um, in, in case somebody says something, like like Ronnie throws a phone number out there at you. How are you going to write down that phone number, huh, Ronnie? There you go. Hey, while, while we're talking, let's, if, uh, if you could just holler and, and let me know, how many people are coming on through an email and how many people are going to Zoom in, in that way? Going through Zoom. Okay, if you're going through Zoom, I was notified this week there's an update that you have to make. The, the new uh, updated version uh, just so you'll know, is 5.0.4. You might have the 5.0.3. And they tell me if you don't update till the point four, possibly next week you might not be able to get on. So if you're coming through Zoom, try to update your version if you can. That's a great idea, Ronnie. And by the way, folks, if you think you got to pay for it, mail Ronnie or I, uh, you know, money greenbacks, uh, and we'll work it out for you. But honestly, Zoom is free. If you register, it's your account. If you want to do more than the free account, you have to buy in for that. But the free account is pretty loose. Um, you, you can get a lot done. 
got um, some uh, somebody looking, giving us a little bit of problem to get in. But we can we can fix that. There's no problems here. All right. I I tuned into a couple of clubs this week, and um, and a couple of professional turners too, and I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Really, and um, I'm going to back up a little bit here. I started video 11 years ago, doing features and putting them on YouTube and all that stuff, and over a million hits on it and all, but that, that's not important. What's important is we were doing this a long time ago, and we did a live program or a show. I'm trying to get that mute off. Um, we did a real show on Wednesdays and Saturdays which I was in the shop turning for, and that's that was fun. But now with this new Zoom and it's the, the virus, uh, more and more professional turners are jumping on board for this type of program. Um, we'll talk more about those folks, but a lot, uh, some of them are doing it by classes. If you don't need to talk, turn off that button. Uh, we need, we're doing it by classes, some are doing it by groups. Um, today I found out that one guy is doing them. It, he gives a set time and you can jump in on it. Um, okay, anybody got anything to add? Did you all see the SpaceX takeoff? Didn't go. It didn't. It didn't go? That, that's not good news. It was canceled. Weather cancellation. Elon yeah. Musk said if something went wrong, it was his problem. It or was his fault. It was because of the weather. They're going to try again Saturday evening. Good. I, I, I'm I'm not that much of a space nut, but that's where our future, that's where our world currently came from, and that's where our future is going to go to. So it's an important thing. I, I, I tried to watch it today and had everything booked out. I'm just going to get there and watch it and, uh, the weather got us, or got them. There's a hurricane or, or a tropical storm in the Carolinas right now. That's that's rough. And it isn't June yet. Um, I was shopping around on YouTube today. You always get great ideas. You see things there and you say, how did they do that? Well, here's the deal. If you figure out how they did it, share it with us because we want to know how they did it. We want to know all the tricks and tips. Now, I don't want to know the bad ways. I want to know the right ways. So if you see the bad way and you can improve it, take off the idiot sense, we'd like to know about it. But today I was shopping through there, and I used to be a fishing guide. Uh, and that's where Captain Eddie comes from. Um, and I, I always thought fishing was something you did without a thong string bikini on. Um, and, and, you know, uh, now I'm looking at, I'm glad I don't fish anymore because I look terrible in the straw, drawstring bikini. Man, a really rough thing. All right. Uh, who's turning what? Come on, talk up. Press that button and let's go. Who's turning what? I'll see you as soon as you do it. <coughs> not doing it. There is Joe Lesko. You got you turning? Sure am, Betty. Can you hear me? I got you, Joe. What you got, buddy? Okay. Uh, what you. We're, okay. What we're doing is uh, for the Rocky Mountain Wood Turners, we're making wig stands for the American Cancer Society. And so far, we've delivered about 85 of them. Came out really nice. Some of them are being painted by some of the local artists. Some of them have a regular wood turning finish i.e. stain, polyurethane, lacquer, whatever. Some are not really good and they're very, very well appreciated. Good. That's a good program. I like that program. Um, yep. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate you. Keep, keep us up to date on that. And if you got Alrighty. some photographs, we take the pictures too. Remember, if you got a picture of your work, you can always send it to us. But the only way I can take it if you send it by the email address. So. Um, we took a couple off of YouTube, and we took a couple off of Facebook, and then I got to talk to a real nice lawyer who explained that I'm not supposed to do that. So I can't take it off Facebook, and I can't take it off YouTube, 
and the other some of the other services got this weird stuff. But email doesn't have any of that weird rules. If you email me your photograph, we'll use it here on the show. We're going to do some in a little while. We use it in a n newsletter, and that's coming out this weekend. And we share what you did. But I have to have your real name. I got Cha-Cha and, and Moses and somebody else turned something this week. A really, you know, a nice nickname. But I, I'd rather have your real name we do this. But send the photographs. I love to see your work. And we don't do a critique. Um, I won't say, I'm looking for a piece I just had on the desk. I won't say this is nice, but see the word but? That word but doesn't belong in any of these phrases. To say it's nice work is an acceptable comment. And guess what? You made it, so it is nice work. You wouldn't send me the firewood. You wouldn't show me the firewood. Um, and I know we all have some firewood. Um, but if you take a picture of a piece, you're proud enough to take a photograph. Send me the photograph, and we'll share it with all these guys. I, we got 49 people on right now. They're all get sharing with it. And you, you won't be. You will be surprised at how many folks get their turning ideas from what we have here now. Not turning patterns. I've always been trying to avoid copying somebody's work because I'm copying their mistakes and I make enough mistakes on my own. So I don't really need to copy their mistakes. But if I get a photograph, uh, Ronnie did a vase, a segment of vase last week. Now, when I go back to the shop, I went out while well, I went the other day to, to take a peek. I've got some bundles of exotic woods that have been out there drying for five or six years. Ronnie, I'm going to give you a run for any money on that thing, man. There you got go. To. Yeah, got to. And, but I'm not going to make it as, as tall as you did. <laughs> I might be brave, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> well, I, but, can, we, can we count on July 1st? You're getting back on the lathe? least I'm waiting for um, one of my doctors to tell me where I'm going to go get a blood test made. After the blood test, we're clear. But um, all the hospitals are not doing that. I got to I gotta find a spot to go. I'm near the biggest hospital in the state of Louisiana, a mile away, and they have no way for me to get in there and do a blood test, but they have outlying my wife just went for one last week, and I wanted her outlying things. I built the outlying thing about, well, the day the space shuttle crashed, I was building this one, um, the original space shuttle. Um, and that's where she had to go to get an x-ray and a blood test made. They meet you at the door, escort you to where you need to go, and bring you back. Nice service. Um, but it's... This is a different world now. Let's see where, where Walt Disney's going to open up. I'm sorry, say again? All the tables and chairs were set up, but many had notices on them that the table was closed. Okay. If you said, uh, Scott, I got you, but I, I didn't catch what you said. Scott? Oh, I'm sorry. I was on Zoom. I, I thought I was muted. I was talking to my wife. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. No problem talking to wife if she listens. Yep. Uh, ooh, I'm going to get in trouble over that. You're in trouble uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> my wife moved out of the room. She said, nope, if you're going to talk about us, I'm not staying here. But um, she's in the front of the quilting machine rocking and rolling right now. And that's what she does. Um, <laughs> you wanna, what do you want hey, to ask? Yes. Where are you at? Denny, Denny Nebgen here. I got a chalice, a very large chalice that I made for a girl out in Las Vegas. I don't know how well that's showing up. Oh, it's looking wanted, good. That, you got a big crack on the side of it, man. It, it does. I got that filled with resin. Um, she wanted a chalice that she can drink ice water out of. <laughs> Nice. Did you, would you fill it with, you said, resin? Yeah, it's got resin in the crack. There was a couple of other little cracks in it, and I filled those in. And then just to be sure, I've got I've got wipe on poly on the inside. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, nice finish, too. It, it, it shines off really nice, so you don't have any lines or marks in it. 
which is important. The finish is, how do you say that? The finish. The, yep, thank you, yep. Danny. And we're going to do That's more. Right.